Uh, the Chapel of the Angels. Let's do the Chapel of the Angels. <laughs> uh, the, the, the beautiful place and the candles make it uh, light. <laughs> the Chapel of the Angels gave just like the way it looks. Having been stuck in the house for 12 weeks, it's just a relief to get out, but it's still a wee bit frightening. But then you come here, it's peaceful, it's prayerful, it gives you a bit of relaxation. It's different. And you feel you feel kind of confident with all the kind of safety things in place and all that, you feel quite happy? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I was just talking about it this minute, it's really well organised, definitely. It's, it's a really uh, enlightening experience, given that it's phase three of lockdown and you're coming back to a place that's you feel close to your heart uh, and you know you can get prayer uh, and it's nice to be close to your faith and um, you know getting involved with um, praying here is just it's great you know I've really really found it a great time tonight. It's a great place to come to pray and reflect on life we usually walk from Moss End so aye, it's really good. You know I hope we can uh, have a mass later for all the interneters have it outside and it should be good. We've managed for two months and I'm sure we'll manage for another couple of weeks. But coming here has been brilliant during lockdown and the, the videos of mass online every morning are tremendous. And you guys have got to be uh, thanked for that, for the help you give. <laughs> well, it's the, it's the help you give Father Grant and, and he's been really good. I mean, to have to prepare a sermon every morning on the Gospels and his little antidotes as well. It's very thought-provoking and it's appreciated. And thank you very much. I did a great priest, so you, you knew he was going to get through it. Um, I, he's been doing great. He's done great for Kid Finn. Um, and he's been doing great with the live streams. But he was always a fan of him, so it's so nice he's doing well. It's been a long time since we've been in Mass, really, three or four months. I'm hoping the confessional box will not be busy. But uh, I'm glad to see that we can get back into public prayer and the Mass means a lot to me and to my fellow parishioners. Although I don't come from this parish, we are one communion without, throughout the world, and we do miss the Mass. But we're getting online, which is fantastic, thanks to your, like to yourselves and to the priests, but it's not as good as being present at the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, and that's vitally important to me. Well, people don't kind of go to shops, and they kind of go here, kind of, but they can come up here, and it's amazing that people you meet, elderly folk, and they talk, and it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. That's good. But people are not aware of what is here and they're relaxed and they're, they can talk to you. They can say their worst feelings and, and it might not cure them, but uh, it helps them. Once Mass comes back, it'll be, it'll be enlightening and it'll be great to have it because it's, it's your faith. Um, the man upstairs looks after you if you pray to him. Um, and you know, if you pray to God, you have your faith. We'll get through the pandemic and it'll be there's a light at the end of the tunnel, thankfully.